All right, so final part. I'll talk for me. I'll talk for three more minutes. I gotta shut this camera up here. I'll watch the show with you guys, and then I gotta go to bed, man. I got work today, man. I washed my clothes. I put it in the dryer, and I got work today. At like eight in the morning, I think eight thirty in the morning. I gotta work till like four o'clock in the afternoon today, and I gotta work again tomorrow. I'm gonna ask my boss when I get paid. I should get paid next week. Next Thursday, next next uh, next Thursday or next Friday, I get paid. I get paid like um, if I work two shifts. So if I work four shifts. I'll make a good. I can do the math here. I work on average what? Eight thirty. My first shift was at nine. But my first shift was eight thirty. To like four. Yeah, about six and a half hours on average a day. My first check will be like two two hundred dollars. Shitty paycheck. I'll make like two. Yeah, two 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 hundred, two twenty, two fifty, maybe three hundred dollars around there. I'll make my first check. Well, I'll do the math here. Minimum wage to go back to 15, right? So 15 times 6, 90 times 4. Yeah, my first check will be like $300. So I can save 150 I can save 100 100 bucks. I'll save 100 bucks and then 250 to blow for myself. I also get my tips, so... And once I get my first check, I'll let well fucker back know. Once I get my first uh, check, I'll let well fucker back know. You have to let them know, obviously. I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, man, there's some guys, you know what I'm saying, who, who work at restaurants, obviously, who work really, really hard to get a uh, uh, woman, man. Like they get, and, and, and if a man gets rejected by a woman, that can hurt the man. Because the man wonders, oh my god, am I that ugly? Like, well, no woman wants me at all. Yeah, it's, it's a shitty uh, feeling, man. You know what I'm saying? He constantly gets rejected by a woman, yeah. You know, Ivan O'Meara, he talks to a fucking girl for three weeks. He asks her on a date, and he, he, he she says yes. And you know, those men, they work hard just to get laid or, 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 or get their nut. You know what I'm saying? The woman, even though they, even if they get laid, the woman charges them for sex, because the man is not that she's not that attractive. The man and hurt the man. Men, men have that's that stuff really, really hurts men. Men, they have it hurts their self esteem. That's why the best thing to do is to, to prevent drama in the workplace or elsewhere is keep it to yourself. Don't brag about it, man. So Sarah, keep it to your damn self. I am your private guy. Yes, I'm very private. That's why I don't like the keys. There's a reason why I don't like the keys because I'm a private man. I don't like. I'm like I'm like I'm a fucking private guy. It's in my nature, and yet you gave me the fucking keys. Where I won't remove my mind. So, Sarah. Yeah. Some Sarah? Yeah. Obviously. Well, I'm thinking of going of. I'm thinking of either going for a woman at, at the place where I work, or maybe the Elmer Bar, or maybe Denty's, or maybe St. Hubert's, or maybe the British. I might check out those places. To see if there's any eligible woman I'm interested in going for, obviously. I heard there's a saying, never go for a girl where you work. But I think it's best to go for a girl where you work because you get to see her like a lot of times during the week. In your personal life and also your professional life when you're working. When you're working, you see her, you see her like every day when you work full time. You see her a couple of times a week. It's nice to see her, obviously, right? Yeah. We'll see what happens, obviously. But make sure the chick does not have a boyfriend, man. If she has a boyfriend, she's off limits. Don't go for her. 
And if she has kids, she's off limits. Don't go over her. You don't want to take care of her kids, man. They're, 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 her kids are going to drain all your fucking money. If you make 600 every two weeks, 650 every two weeks, 700 every two weeks, you can't afford to take care of her fucking kids. They're, they're gonna, and if you do, it's going to drain all your money. You're going to have no money for yourself. And that's why don't date a chick who has kids. Don't date a chick who's in a relationship with her or has a boyfriend. But most men don't care if a chick has a boyfriend or not. They'll still, if they want her, they want her. They'll go for her anyways. Because we live in a wicked world, obviously, yeah. I told you the story of that guy who lived next to me. He knows who he is, obviously. He, 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 he lives, like, up the street where I live, obviously. He was, like, a not-that friend of mine. He weren't, we weren't really friends, but, like, I hung out with him a few times here and there. You know what I'm saying? He liked some chick who my pretty good friend was dating, obviously, and he took her took her from him, man. I saw that happen firsthand, yeah, man. He was flirting with her all during the summer. And then the, when school year came by in grade 10, he, he took the the, the, the... the girl ended up dumping my pretty good friend, and she ended up going for him. And then I remember I saw them making out... I saw their first, like, kiss at the dance. They started making out at the dance... I felt bad for my pretty good friend, man. And like, oh my god, he took her from her. Don't be that kind of guy, man. Don't don't be a guy who takes a girl from another man, man. Don't do that. That's evil, man. That's what I'm I would never do that. It's an evil thing to do, man. The reason why I would never do it is because how would you like it if someone did that to you? I know the feeling. If someone did that to me, I'd feel like total shit, too. If someone took my fucking girl from me, I'd be very... I'd, I'd be crushed, man. It's, it's, you know, I can only imagine how my pretty good, my pretty good friend felt, man. He was crushed. I'm pretty sure he cried about it. What the fuck, man? You know what I'm saying, yeah, I mean, the guy just took her from him, man. Yeah, evil to do that. Don't do that, man. It's evil. It's there. I've seen it happen firsthand. Yeah, man. Don't do that, Sarah. I told you, because I'm the son of God, when I go on that first date with her at St. Hubert's, obviously, I mean, how long, I don't know, I'll chill at St. Hubert's for maybe two hours, okay? What's a good time for you to eat lunch, to eat dinner? Uh, is 8 o'clock good for you? I mean, 8 o'clock is fine. Hey, St. Hubert's closes at, like, 10. You want to have the date take place at 7.38. You can eat at the restaurant for two and a half hours. And then I can what? If she drives, she can drive back home, obviously. Or if she takes the bus there, you can walk her home. Depends how far. Look, man, I'm not going to... If you live very, very far away, I'm not walking you home. I can walk you to your bus stop, to the bus stop, and and, 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 and what? And talk with you until your bus arrives. I don't mind doing that. I don't mind walking her home if she doesn't live too, too, too far away. If she lives maybe, like, a couple blocks away, I don't mind walking you there. Maybe, like, near Elm Elementary, I can walk you home there. It's not that bad. If you live, like, way, way, way down, like, where the Shane's is and all, so I'm not going to walk you home. That's crazy. That's a long walk. I'm not going to walk all the way there. Obviously. I'm not going to walk all the way there, since I I'm not going to walk all the way there, obviously. But if you walk her home, she'll really appreciate Oh, my God, he's such a nice man. Uh, she'll like you even more, obviously. And because I'm the son of God, when I when I go on a date with her, everyone at St. Hubert's will be staring. Some warriors will even give her dirty looks. Like, oh, so that's why she'll be feeling on top of the world. And God forbid if I trend, she will really be feeling on top of the world because she's now trending with me. Let's say I do trend. <laughs> you guys will know, obviously. People in Elmer take pictures, they start posting stuff on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? They're like, holy shit, look at Ivan. Ivan's on a date with a hot fucking chick, you know what I'm saying? And VJ's looking at the trash. Who's Ivan with? Who's she looks like? Who's he dating? Who's, who's, he, who's, who's, who's he with? Who's he with? I'm saying she's fucking crazy, obviously. And everyone's like, oh my god, Ivan, Matt, it's gross and mad ball. He's on a date with a hot waitress. Yeah. He's rubbing it in his wife's face. How does it feel, VJ? Yeah, how does it feel, Victoria? Victoria doesn't be fine, obviously, because she, she can't say shit. I shut up for good. 
But she will be a bit jealous, obviously. Like, what are you doing with my husband? Yeah, the same thing goes for you. What are you doing with my fucking wife touching my wife? And yeah, Victoria Justice lets all those men touch her. She lets Evan, Ber- Evan Berger hug her, kiss her, and fuck her, man. Because she's fucking crazy, Victoria Justice. She doesn't care, man. She's a crazy woman. And that's why when she cries to me, I ignore her. She's a crazy woman. How can any man take take a girl like that seriously? It's tough to take Victoria. Yeah, I, mean, I understand what you, where, you, where you're coming from. Yeah, it's tough to take a girl like that seriously, man. Who, who what? <laughs> Dates guys, goes, has boyfriends, fucks guys. And at night time, you cry to me and say you love me. You're it's just crazy, man. It's crazy behavior. Yeah, man. It's a crazy woman. Yeah. You see me, let I might perhaps trend. I highly doubt it, but if I do trend, the woman will be feeling on top of the world, man. That's why she'll like you even more. Because she's trending with you. She feels on top of the world with you. Yeah, oh my god, I'm trending with Ivan. And she'll like you even more. <laughs> she'll like you a lot, man, yeah. And if she drives and she, and she asks you, hey, do you want to come over to my apartment? She's pretty much asking you for sex or like she wants to maybe make out with you or something like that. It's either sex or... Or she wants to do some things with you. She wants to maybe make out with you or something like that. Just because a girl invites you over to the apartment doesn't mean she wants sex. It might mean she wants she she wants to get to know you more. She likes being around you. Or she might want to go for the kiss and maybe make out with you or something like that. Not sex, but make out. See what I'm saying? That's my point. But look, man, I'm going, I'll go over to your apartment if you want me to come over to the apartment. If she has an apartment. But I'm not going to have sex with you. I don't mind making out, but I'm not going to have sex with you. See what I'm saying? And when I'm with her, people in Elmer will stare, man. You guys are going to be curious, so you're going to be staring. Everyone in Elmer will be staring. And she'll be feeling on top of the world. At St. Hubert's, people in the, the rest will be staring. The waiters will give her dirty, a little bit of dirty stares. Because I'm a son of God, man. I'm wine, man. Yeah. And that's why she'll guaranteed like you a lot. <laughs> a lot, man. Like, like you even more. Yeah. Since there. I go to the bar with her and say, hey, you know, once you... Once you once you go you're done your first your first date obviously let's say you walk her to your bus stop or she drives before she go, before she leaves give her a hug you know, I had a great time you know what I'm saying I'll see you later I'll see, I'll see you at work you know what I'm saying I'll text you, you know what I'm saying okay okay and you give her a big hug obviously and she hugs you tight that means she likes you a lot that means she likes you a lot obviously. Chances are the chick does, do, most women around 25 years old have their license. Chances are she drives, or she might bus home. Ah, oh, bus home, Ivan. If she buses home, walk her to your bus stop and stay with her until the bus arrives. So appreciate that. And if she drives, just say, I had a good, I had a great time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll see you, I'll see you, I'll see you at work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then you're at work, you talk to her more, and you you, te- you ask her again, hey, do you want to go on another date? Do you want to go to Elmer? You want to hang out at the Elmer Bar? And second date, you go to the Elmer Bar with her, you get you have a good time with the Elmer Bar, you get drunk with her at the Elmer Bar. But don't go to the bar too late. Go around maybe 8 or 9. Because the Elmer Bar closes at like 3 on some days. Some days it closes at 2, some days it closes at 1. If you go at 12, 12, 3, the, the bar might be closed. Or closing, go early around maybe 9, 8, 30, 9. That way you can chill with her at the bar for maybe two hours. Some Sarah. Then you go to the marina. You get drunk with her at, at, at the restaurant of the marina. You have a good dinner with her at the marina. You hang out at the beach. So I'm saying you can walk her home and she lives close, pretty close by. And fourth date, you can go clubbing with her. Then fifth date, she might invite you to her apartment. Hey, do you want to come hang out in my apartment? I'll make dinner for you or something like that. You want to come over to my apartment and watch a movie? I'll order food and get high or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You get beer. You know what I'm saying? You have a good time with her. You know what I'm saying? That's my point. And if she likes you, she'll keep saying yes to all your to all your dates. She'll, she'll, she'll want to hang out with you more, be around you more. And because she's feeling on top of the world with you, the son of God, don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? She what? She, 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 she'll like you a lot, obviously. You'll know if the chick likes you a lot. If she if she, if she she wants to hang out with you more on more dates, that means she likes you. 
If she doesn't want to hang out with you after your first date, I mean, she doesn't like you. The date did not go well, obviously. But make sure you be yourself. and you, uh, As long as you be yourself, I have to guard your name, you know what I'm saying? She'll like you. And then people around, well, when you're hanging out with her, people are staring at everything. She's going to talk to the world. She'll like you a lot, obviously. And you're very respectful to her. Very kind. Don't be super touchy-touchy with her or, like, or on your first date. Don't do that, man. Women have boundaries. Don't, 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 don't do that. That's what I'm saying. Only be touchy-touchy around you. Like, once you make out with her, obviously, you can now be a bit more touchy-touchy with her because you you already crossed that boundary of making out with her, obviously. But before, let's say you don't kiss her yet, don't be touchy-touchy with her. If you let her be touchy-touchy with you, if she likes you, you know what I'm saying? But don't be touchy-touchy with her. You have your boundaries, I'm saying. Have your boundaries, obviously. Give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna take a piss. I'll be back in a second. Hey, I'm back in a second. You, I know you love these videos. You better enjoy why you're so cannibal, man. I'm not kidding around. I'll be back in a second. Give me no one to leave. All right, I'm back. Give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna go get some water. I'm gonna go fill my bottle with water in the, in the bathroom. I'll be back in a sec, guys. Don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? Alrighty, I'm back. I went to go fill my bottle of water. The video's almost done here. I'll be, I, I only got it. I can only make a one hour video because once I watch this video, it'll be like three where I'm have done. I gotta go sleep. I have work in the morning at like eight o'clock, eight thirty, man. Today, today, right? Yeah. And tomorrow I have work again on Sunday morning. Yeah, my boss didn't give me a schedule yet, so. I'm going to ask my boss today, hey, can you give me a schedule? Because, like, I could what? That way I can take a picture of my phone. I can know, like, like the exact time and, and day I'm working. Yeah. Because right now I'm on call right now. I'm not really, I'm not, I'm part-time on call right now. Chances are the other dishwasher has full-time shifts. Hence why they're putting me part-time on weekends. Or I'm, I need full-time work to save money, man, for my book, man. I gotta get my book added, some Sarah. Yeah. I right, will you be touch touch around her? No, not really. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, when I see her at work, I might like be like high five. I might give her like a high five or something like that. I might maybe pat her shoulders. 
how's it going, pat her shoulders, but don't be like super, super touchy touchy with her. Because you need to have your boundaries, obviously. It's only once you, I don't know, once you make out with her and all stuff, you can be more, you'll be more comfortable. She'll be more comfortable around you, obviously. But unless you don't, before you, 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 you do that, don't be too touchy touchy with her, obviously. But if she likes you, she will be flirtatious around you at work, obviously. She'll stare at you a lot, you know what I'm saying? And she'll be very touchy touchy around you, obviously, at work. Since there. That's my point, obviously, since there. Almost done this video, guys. I got, like, I don't know, a good, like, 12 minutes on my phone for, for, for this part. I'm, I'm not going to make a full video, guys. I got to go to bed, man. It's already, get, it's already, like, I don't know, almost 2 o'clock. I got to go to bed soon. I, I have, like, a full four hours of sleep, yeah. And tomorrow, Sunday, I have work again. Yeah. And let's say I start dating her. Obviously, I'm gonna lose the weight. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna. Right now, I'm like two ninety. I'm almost three hundred pounds. I'm really fat right now. I'm gonna get down to maybe two thirty five. I'm gonna save the one ninety pounds for when I do Zanus. I don't feel like losing all that weight. It's too much work. I'll get down to maybe two forty. That way, I lose a bit of weight. Go on the travel like seven days a week, maybe like I did like what like nine years ago. I lost like fifty pounds. I can get down to two forty. Lose 50 pounds, get down 230, 235, 240. That way, that way I look skinnier, obviously, because I'm really fat right now. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, let's say if I, once once I start going on more dates with her, I'm gonna, that's when I'm going to start losing the weight. Cut, on, cut down on what I eat. You can eat food at work. Obviously, cut down on eating junk food. If I'm hungry, I'll just get Subway. Subway's healthy. I'll get Subway. I'll I'll I'll, dr I'll drink um um, um um what healthier drinks like Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi's healthy. Don't drink the other stuff like Seven Up and Mountain Dew. That stuff is very fattening. Drink Diet Pepsi with your sub. Get a nice chicken sub, a veggie sub, a tuna sub. Those are healthier subs, obviously. What's there? Yeah. I have to really lose the weight. Yeah, I'll get down. I'm not going to lose the whole thing. I, I don't have the energy to lose like a hundred, like, I don't have the energy to lose like a hundred pounds, 110 pounds. That's a lot of work, but I can lose maybe 50 pounds. Get down to maybe 240. That way I lose, I, I, I lose a bit of this fat. I'm really fat right now. I'm almost 300 pounds. I'm like 290. I gained some weight. I'm like 290 right now, man. I'm fucking fat. Lose the weight for, for the girl, you know what I'm saying? That way you look better. That way I look better when I wear my clothes. I don't look too fat. You know when I took that picture, that headshot? I was like 240 back then. I was like two... How, how much did I weigh? I was like 230 pounds. Get, I can get down to 230. 230, I'm still a little bit big, but I'm, I'm a lot more skinny. I can get... You know how I looked a lot more skinny back then? Yeah, I was only like 230 back then. Well, I took that picture. That's why I looked very skinny. But you see me now, I look very fat because I gained, like, when I gained, like, 60 pounds by eating a bunch of fat food, obviously. I remember after work, I'd go to Wendy's, I'd go to Burger King. I had a membership. I always go to the gym, like, at, like five, a couple times a week. But I also eat fat food, hence I wasn't really losing any weight, obviously. I ate a lot of Wendy's. I ate a lot of, uh, a lot of Subway. No, I didn't eat much Subway, but I had, like, Wendy's, Popeye's, and I had chicken. I had like uh, Burger King, McDonald's, one for ones. I was eating fat food and I gained all the weight back, obviously. I'll get down to maybe 230. 235 is good enough. Get Lose 55 pounds, get down to 235. And I'll watch what I eat, obviously. Eat healthier food. The way I lose the weight, I look better, obviously. I'll get my dreads on, too. Yeah. Will you have it? Yes. What I'll do is I'll ask her on a date the week, the week, the week I get my, the, the, the week I know I get my tips, that's the week I ask her on a date. That way when I get my tips, obviously I could what? When I get my tips, I can, I can use that tip, my tips to, to, for the date, obviously. So I get like an 80, $100 tip, that's enough money for me to pay for, 
for, for, for, for, for, for, for, for, for, for the wife. For the dinner. Chances are, if I go to say Hubert's, it'll, it'll probably cost me maybe like 45 bucks for the dinner. For both of us. For the bar, you need to have like at least like 80, 80 bucks, 100 bucks to spend. You want to get you want if you want to get her drunk with you, right? But I told you if she likes you a lot, she'll gladly buy buy you some of your some of the drinks. She'll help you. Oh, Ivan, oh, the first rounds on me. I'll pay for I'll pay for the picture, Ivan. If she really likes you, and you can pay for the rest if you want. As long as she pays for something that shows that she's not cold, she offered to pay for your drinks. All you don't have to pay for everything. No, as a man, you should pay for most of the stuff. But if she offers to, to pay for the first round or the second round, okay, Ivan. I'll pay for the. Uh, it's okay, Ivan. This 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 one's on me. I'll pay for this. I'll pay for this twenty-two dollar picture. Some Sarah. That's my point, obviously. Some Sarah. Yeah. I remember that chick. Remember that. Remember that the the chick. The story I told you about the uh, the bartender who worked at uh, Elma Bar. I was about to hook up with her. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. I, I stayed till closing. And she said, "Okay, Ivan, I'm gonna go get changed." And she was. I was ready to go home with her and everything. Obviously, she gave me ten bucks for a cab ride home. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know. That's how you know I'm very special. The chick paid literally paid me for sex pretty much. Yeah, I mean, here's 10 bucks for your cab ride home. Because you know she's garbage, obviously. I'm holy, obviously. I mean, here's 10 bucks for your cab ride home. And I was ready to go home with her, obviously. And it's and I, she, while she was changing, I decided to leave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're such, you're so holy. Yeah, you, you know what I'm you're, you're such a bad boy. Yeah, I left, I'm saying. <laughs> she must have been hurt, man, when I left like that. I just left. <laughs> Something told me don't do it, I mean, it's not worth it. I just left, obviously. I left. And I went to like McDonald's or one for ones. I and I I and I, and I, I, I bought like McDonald's and I went home and I watched like Rad Bad Road movie. <laughs> That's who I am, man, yeah. But that was back when I was super square. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I gotta unsquare myself and mat go some mad balls. And I remember the very next day, so I even where were you? And I'm saying I'm like, yeah, I decided to go home and I'm saying. She must have been hurt, obviously. And I'm like, here, I'm like, here, I feel bad. Here's the 10 bucks. Here's the 10 bucks you, you gave me. No, I haven't, no, I haven't just use the $10 and, 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 and buy, 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 me, buy, buy me a shot. And I bought her a shot, obviously. We had a shot together, obviously. And I think after that, she, she bought me, she bought me a, a round of shots. She was very nice, obviously. She's a pretty hot chick. Nice body, you know what I'm saying? Nice body. She's a pretty hot chick, obviously. That's my story of the, the bartender who worked there. I don't think she works there anymore. She worked there back in 2018. I don't think she works there anymore. But, I mean, that's my story. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and I'm, I'm no longer going to be that, that, that square shy eye. I mean, I got to grow some mammals. And, like, what? Finally man up and know what it's like to be in a relationship and get a girlfriend this year, man. Why was a chick from Coco Fruity or perhaps Elmer Bar or Dentys or St. Hubert's or the British... There's a lot of places you can go, or you can go to Ottawa if you want, but Ottawa's too far. I want to just chill around Elmer area. That's close by, it's there. Yeah. Ivan, you, you turned down sex. Yeah, man. I, uh, if that were any man, they would have went home with that chick and had sex her. They would have had sex her. I, was, and I did not have sex her. I, I went home. <laughs> yeah. While she was chasing, I left. <laughs> I was wait. I waited a little bit, obviously, and she was taking a bit long. It was like I don't know. I waited like maybe three minutes. You know what I'm saying? She, and she was changing, obviously. She was changing, obviously. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna leave. And then I was like, okay, and I left. <laughs> I left. I left. I'm saying, I left. Something told me don't do it, man. I didn't sign off to do it, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Ivan, will you let will, Ivan will, will will you will you tell her to not be flirtatious around you? No, I'm not gonna tell her that. She can get mad about that. But like, you know what I'm saying? If you're very flirtatious around me at work, the employee is gonna become very suspicious. 
Unless you tell them that we went on a date and we're dating, they'll know, obviously. But if you don't tell them, and you want to keep it private, if you're very flirtatious around me, they're going to know. Especially if you kiss me. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 one more on break. They're going to know we're dating, man. Are you, are you dating that chick? I saw you, like, hugging her and everything. I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, who, I'm like no, who told you we're dating? Yeah, she told us you're dating, I mean, I'm like, fuck it. Yeah, if, if, if she tells them, you have to let them know, yeah, we're dating. You have to let them know, obviously. Chances are she will brag because she's dating us. something like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm dating Ivan, man. You know what I'm saying? You come to work, she's like, Yvonne, oh, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? She gives you a hug and all stuff. Yeah. It's actually funny, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm saying, yeah, and you'll know if they're how you'll, you'll know how good how good this fling is, is 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 going so far. You'll know if things are moving forward or things are not moving forward. Obviously, if by like the fifth date you guys are already made out and everything, that means things are going very well for you. Obviously, she likes you a lot. You like her. I don't know. A month and a half goes by. She now wants to make it official. She wants to date you. Obviously, hey, do you want to make it official? Do you want to date? You want to be you want to be my boyfriend. You want to be, you want me to be your girlfriend. I'm like, give me a week to think about it. Why? Why do you need a week? Because I need a week to think about it. I don't know if I'm ready yet. And a week goes by. I'm like, okay, fuck it. Let's date. I'm saying, let's be let's be boyfriend girlfriend. And you date her for like two years before you pay the fee. Don't hate me. I'm saying you date her for like two two and a half years. Obviously. I'm saying her hope is hopefully I'm with Ivan when he's king. I'm like, look, man, it's not gonna happen. As I'm going to be having sex with all a lot of women, man, like 15, 2 dollars a woman in Hollywood and all that stuff. You're going to be crushed. I have to end it. And I'm saving my wife, Victoria Justice. She's meant for me. You're not meant for me, obviously. I had a good time with you for, for, for two, two and a half years, but you're not you're not meant for me. VJ's meant for me, Sincero. Yeah. Obviously. So once... I'll know, I'll know, I'll know, I'll know the journey has begun once I ask her on that first date. And if she says yes, that is a journey of Ivan O'Mara's first relationship and his, potentially his first girlfriend. That is a journey of Ivan O'Mara's first relationship and his first, potentially his first girlfriend. So I'm saying, that's the journey. And it was fair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry to Mary, I'm signing out. Peace. I'm going to watch this video with you guys and I'll go to bed. I got to go to work in the morning. Sorry to Mary, I'm signing out. Peace.